there, welcome to the last grown up in the woods. I'm your host, Carly Fairbrother, and today we are going to be catching some frogs. So I'm at a pond here, and there are two species of frogs hanging around. One is the Pacific tree frog, and I'm not actually sure what the other one is. The eggs are bigger, so it could be a red-legged frog, it could be a bullfrog, or it could be a green frog. And I just heard one right there. Ooh. Okay, so I just heard a frog. Sounded like a Pacific tree frog. So we're going to try to find it. We've got a lot of eggs here. We've got some probably bullfrog eggs and these are actually invasive to this area. And we have some tree frog eggs floating around, although those ones have mostly hatched. So if you've heard sounds in the background, that's the Pacific tree frog. And actually when there's a frog soundtrack in the jungle, they often use a Pacific tree frog. The bullfrog is the other one that you'll hear a lot. And they do this like deep gullet. One thing I should add is that if you want to catch a frog, you probably shouldn't take it home. For one thing, the Wildlife Act here in BC says that is illegal. The other reason that you don't want to take frogs home is that there's a virus called the ranavirus and it's affecting frogs all over the world and killing them off. And so if you were to catch a frog from a pond where there is ranavirus and take him home and, and um, have a pet frog for a while and then release him into a different pond, then he might spread that virus. There's one other very, very big reason that you should never catch a frog or uh, take a frog to a different pond. And that is that there are two invasive species in this area, the bullfrog and the green frog. And they're the big ones. And they're the ones that people often like to take home and put in their ponds because they're so big and kind of fun. But they are very aggressive frogs. And so sometimes they'll eat the things that the other frogs want to eat. And sometimes they just eat other frogs and tadpoles. And the tadpoles can actually get to about this size. And the bullfrogs, the full-grown bullfrogs, um, they can be about this big so they're they're gigantic the biggest native frog is probably only about this big and that's the red-legged frog if you really really must take it home which is illegal then you should take it and release it back into its own pond when you don't want it as a pet anymore I'm gonna also talk about turtles because turtles are in trouble we have the western pond turtle which actually doesn't live in BC it's been wiped out from British Columbia and a lot of that has happened because people have gotten these red-eared sliders from the pet store and then they live too long and they don't want them anymore so they let them go into their ponds. So that's affected the western pond turtle. It's also affected the painted turtle population. Okay, I'll come back for you later, frog. <laughs> 